will not allow it anymore. We are demanding that the state attorney's office enforce these laws. Mothers seeking justice for their murdered children marched outside the office of Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle demanding tougher sentences. Those mothers and community activists accused prosecutors of being too lenient on criminals and not responding to the needs of victims and their families. This is a big change for the group that used to work very closely with the state attorney's office. CBS4's Natalia Zaya has more. State attorney! A vocal march. And a crowded scene at the front entrance to the state attorney's office was designed to send a clear message to the woman in charge on the fourth floor. The police is making arrests, but there's no justice for any of these families. These are mothers of murdered children, teens, and young adults, most of whom have not felt the relief of seeing their child's killer convicted. And the prosecutor is not concerned about my son case. The prosecution is not concerned about me as being a grieving mother. They don't care. They pointed to the state attorney's large, well-attended press conference in December, announcing the arrest of the suspect in the murder of Rabbi Joseph Raxon. They allege their cases are not receiving the same attention. They were determined to get to the bottom of that case. We want the same justice. The protest here outside the state attorney's office is a marked difference for this activist group. The leader of the activist group has long worked side by side with Fernandez Rundle, but she told me that she feels the prosecutors lately are not responding to the needs of the victims' families. Miami-Dade Police us, uh, Union President John Rivera says officers are doing their part. We've become a judicial system here where plea bargains are far more important than putting the, the violent criminals away. Fernandez Rundle released a statement in which she says the lack of justice is a result of a lack of arrests, witnesses coming forward, and cutting of community policing programs. She added, having previously met with the members of Mothers of Murdered Kids on several occasions, I fully understand the concerns that each of these parents have, particularly when the murder of their child remains unsolved. These mothers turned activists acknowledge that violence against young people is a complex issue with no easy answer. We need help. It's got to end. It's got to end somewhere. Natal Gizea, CBS 4 News.